Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Another fun video to ensue. Uh, mail day. <laughs> you guys sent me a lot of mail. There was one day I went to the post office, I think I had like five or six packages and I was there the day before. So it was like just, it all of a sudden showed up. I do have some packages up here and I also have some packages over here as well as on this side, or that side, and this side. So uh, we're going to kind of run through this. I'm going to kind of abbreviate the letters if you guys sent uh, a letter with your package, just kind of save time because I know this, this video is going to take a couple hours to record and probably three or four hours to edit. Uh, and yeah, we'll get into it. Thank you everyone who sent packages. Thank you to everyone who sent awesome gifts. If you guys are interested, PO Box information is in the description below. And uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's jump into it. So we do have some letters up front. I know a couple of these have some sort of gift in them, and then there's others that are just letters. If you guys sent me a letter, or if you don't want your letter to be read on camera, uh, I'll just give off your name and you know just write on the uh, the letter or on a package. If you guys don't want me to read your package or your letter on camera, just write. Don't read on YouTube, and that's fine. Uh, Shirley C from Florida. Thank you. Shirley B from, I believe, Ohio. Uh, Antonio from Florida. Dream Big Productions and Dream Big Productions. So thank you to everyone who sent letters. I know there are a couple of gifts here. I can feel it. Uh, the flex test, as I like to call it. So we have one here from Richmond, Virginia. That is William in Bridgewater. Got a gift card. Oh. Oh. Just wanting you to know. Dear Taco Stacks and Salsa, I hope this known gift card finds you and Salsa finds you well. I enjoy watching your YouTube videos. I've enclosed a $25 gift card as my way of saying thank you for doing your part of saving the world by recycling, selling, etc. I want you to use this gift card as you see fit. Please be safe doing what you're doing. It's a shame that you do not have an arrangement with someone that you can take furniture for them to refinish and sell and you get a part of money. Look me up if you are in or around Bridgewater, Virginia. William. Thank you, William. Created expressly for taco stacks and salsa by William. So William sent me a uh, Sheets gift card. Haven't been to Sheets probably in about two or three weeks, but now that I have a gift card, I will be slowly uh, heading over there and, and grab myself some Subway sandwiches. I call them Subway's hoagies. Uh, thank you, Will, for that. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, that will definitely be going to good use here pretty soon. Here we have a letter package from Cole in North Carolina. It's got a little bit of a jingle to it. Oh, what do we got? It looks like some coins. Silver coin, possibly, right there. Nope. Oh, yeah, we do. Hey, Taco, I saw you on one of Rob's streams. You always say it is what it is. Thanks for keeping me entertained for hours on end. Here's a token of my appreciation. Saw you, since you like, I have included some. A Mercury dime, a silver quarter, a standing Liberty quarter, a Buffalo nickel, and a, another nickel. I include some stickers. Keep being awesome, Cole. <laughs> That's actually a really cool sticker. Uh, you have, this is a Rob Spines treasure, I believe, his logo. And then you have a penny. It's kind of like put up here like that. That was a really cool. I like those. Uh, then we have some silver here. So you have a 1960 quarter. It's not going to show up too well. You have a Indian nickel. I believe that's what this one is. No, it's a buffalo nickel. Very, very cool. A mercury dime. This isn't going to show up really well, but try to get the best we can. It's not going to show up, but we have a Mercury Dime, another nickel, and then I think this was a Standing Liberty Quarter. Is that what it says? It's really, really worn down, but you can still see it is kind of, um, well, it is very silvery. It's not going to focus right. Uh, thank you, Cole. Thank you for all the silver. I greatly appreciate it. I actually am starting to kind of collect coins. Not really fully into coins. My grandfather actually used to uh, buy me coins and stamps from auctions back in the early 90s and he thought you know down the line I might be interested in them. I do kind of like the history on them and the thought you know these are kind of old so uh, I do kind of have a little bit of a collection of just silver. I don't collect any gold uh, but thanks for all the silver I greatly appreciate it and uh, thanks for stopping by. 
All right, moving right along. I know I have a bunch of packages here from Keith, and I think it was Janet, maybe? Janet, uh, so I know they sent me a bunch, so we're gonna try to get them together. I know there are a couple over here. To, the problem with doing mail time is I usually do it like once every two months, so I do apologize for that. Uh, I'm trying to get better at that. It just, everything kind of, you know, especially during the summer, everything just gets clogged up. So uh, I apologize for not getting to your packages earlier, guys and girls, but thank you as always for everyone who sent something. Here we have a package from Linda in California. Oh, 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 got things everywhere. I believe this is the letter. <laughs> it's always great when you open up something and you see a dog just smiling. <laughs> I do love that. Please don't show picture on YouTube. Oh, right, you, Linda. I think they. Okay, yeah, that goes with that. Oh, we got gift cards and money as well. We'll put that aside. Hi, Taco. I'm sending you and salsa treats, lunch, and $10 for coffee and donut or pizza and Subway. I enjoy your videos. Sometimes I binge watch. Take care and always look forward to new videos. Sincerely, Linda. So we do have a $15 gift card here. I did see some money as well. We have $10 in cash. Thank you, Linda, for that. Uh, greatly appreciate that. Put that to the side. I think we have some more things here. This is another letter. Oh, it's a magnet. Taco, please ask Paper Moose Renee for her P.O. Box. I can't find it anywhere. Thank you, Linda. Linda, her P.O. Box should be in her description. I know this was sent, uh, wait. This was probably only sent about a week ago, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Um, so hers should be in her description of any of her videos. It should also be probably on her profile page if you're interested in sending her anything. Uh, then we have some chicken breast. A healthy snack for the dog. Salsa's gonna love this. So thank you, Linda, for the awesome gift card, the money, and the treat for Salsa. Hope everything's well, and thanks again. Here we have a, uh, all right, so this is something I did want to say. Here we have a, uh, is this thing even? Gotta cut this open. So there's actually a trick. My trick is I generally cut one side of the package beforehand. And that's because if I open up every single package, like cut open every package while I did YouTube, like where I record while I record the video, this video would be forever. It'd be like a four hour video. <laughs> it takes me a while to, to uh, cut up all the packages. But here we have a package from Australia. Uh, I don't see a, I don't see a name on it. We have a package here from Australia. One thing I did want to say is, I don't know how you sent this, but the package itself is only $3 to ship. So I don't know what trick you used to send something internationally for three US dollars, uh, but I would like to know your secrets. I've been watching the channel for some time. Now I want to send you a novelty license plate from Australia, maybe for your license wall. Keep up the great work. Plus, thanks for being a genuine YouTuber. You're always so humble and nice. Pet salsa for me. I love her so much. Take care from the down under Lee. And I believe her hometown is Adelaide. Very, very cool. Thank you, Lee. So here's the awesome novelty style license plate from Australia. Very, very cool. Do greatly appreciate it. I think I'm going to kind of do, right when you walk in, it's gonna be kind of a novelty section as well as uh, a antique section of license plates. Kind of leaving the whole license plate wall to the same size standard USA plate. Uh, but I do think right when I walk in, I'm going to make like an antique section and down the right side is going to be all novelty plates that people have sent me. So thank you for that. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Here we have a package from Todd in Washington. And I know Todd did leave a comment saying something about airing out the handmade soap. That was probably left on a video maybe about a week ago. Uh, so here we are, Todd. I believe this says soap on the side. So I'm going to assume this is probably soap. And voila, it is soap. And it smells, it smells like soap. Dear Taco Stacks, I thank you for hours of entertaining watching your YouTube videos. I also like doing the hunt for that treasure, whether it's for scrap, whether it's from scrap, floral, brush picking, mushroom gathering, truffle hunting, etc. It's a thrill of finding something of some value to you or others. Like I've said in your comments area, that's, that you don't let the moss grow under you. 
uh, that's very commendable to me. It is what it's so just go do it. I'm sending you a bar of my handmade soap. It's supposed to be a taco, and I hope you are, I hope you use it and enjoy it. I seen you buy some handmade soap on one of your videos at the flea market. Thought you might like mine. It's made with goat's milk and aloe vera with the scent of monkey farts. And yes, it has a sense name. Go figure, right? Sincerely, Todd. So thank you, Todd. It actually, <laughs> oh my, it looks like a taco. Look at that. That is, I can't use this. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks like a taco. That is awesome, and it smells amazing. Can't believe it. Todd, thank you so much for that soap. That is crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I can't use that. That's gotta be something I wanna keep and wrap or do something with, but probably will end up using it. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Todd. Thank you for that. That's great. Hopefully all is well. On, oh, we have a package here from Betsy in New Hampshire. Hey, Taco, didn't know if you had one of these plates. Found it at a yard sale in a free box. Hope you like it, Betsy. Oh. Novelty plate. I do not have one of these novelty plates. Cape Cod. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you uh, grabbed this out of the free pile at the yard sale. That's kind of cool. I've actually never found like anything good in these free piles at yard sales, but that's really cool. Uh, Betsy, thank you for the Cape Cod license plate, the novelty plate. Uh, probably going to be going up on that novelty wall that we'll be starting here probably pretty shortly. So, Betsy, thank you for grabbing that. Boom! From Indiana. Oh. By Bree, Taco Stacks. Taco Stacks, hope you're still collecting state plates. We've had this ready to go since you first started collection, but it got lost in the shuffle. Anyway, hopefully you don't have this one yet. Best of luck. P.S. If you get to Indiana in August any year, they have a Tri-County Tractor and Engine Show. Antiques everywhere you can find on the internet in Jay County. Your friends, the booth. There's a few pictures from my little girl. She loves you. Uh, so here's a picture that she drew. I believe those are my hands reaching over for a, uh, looks like a donut. Uh, thank you for that. We have a license plate here. We have another picture. It's Party Time by Brie on the Taco Stacks t-shirt. Hopefully that focuses. There it goes. Very, very cool. Thank you, Brie. Over here. And then we have this awesome Hoosier State Indiana license plate. It's the first one I've ever seen that looks like this. So thank you for that. This will definitely go up on the wall. So thank you, the Boofs. Thank you, Bree. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the, for the license plate and the pictures. Thank you. All right, here we have a package from Keith uh, and Janet. Keith G and Janet in the Minnesota. Let's see how well this goes. Oh, we got a gift card. Taco Stacks, keep up the great work. We love everything you do. You're an awesome, respectful garbage picker, scrapper, flea marketer, tailgate auction. We love it all. Keep up the good work, and we'll keep watching. Keith and Janet. Good old golden retriever on the back. We have a gift card here to Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, my goodness. $50 from Keith and Janet. Wow. Thank you, Keith and Janet, for that. That is awesome. That's going to last me a very, very long time at Dunkin' Donuts. Wow. Greatly appreciate that, Keith and Janet. I know you guys sent me a bunch of gifts, so that is awesome as well. Uh, I really do appreciate the support that I get on this channel. And there are a very select few that are, I consider, super fans. I know Keith has purchased, uh, I believe, pretty much every piece of inventory I've ever come out with or merchandise, so I do appreciate that as well. Uh, that is awesome. You're in for a surprise. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if I should open this on camera. Oh, buddy. Oh. A mason jar. <laughs> in for a surprise. Oh, there it is. I knew there was something up with this. This is a number 13 mason jar. One of the harder ones to find. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. I actually have a whole collection over here of mason jars. There's one that is pretty identical. I have one that is a, uh, a slant logo on the perfect mason. It's kind of offset. Uh, this will be swapped out with that one. Uh, so this will definitely be going up on 
my actual wall, my decor, and my house. So thank you for that. Uh, that is a number 13. And we have another item here which feels like penguin. <laughs> that my penguin collection. Uh, that's great. So thank you, Keith and Janet, for that. Awesome gifts as always. Uh, Keith and Janet as well from Minnesota. Oh. Dear Taco Sex, Keith and I just love everything you do. We really look forward to the new notifications from you. Now when we go out thrift down or curb alerts, here we go to Dunkin' Donuts to get our coffee donut and start our day. Salsa is so awesome. Give her a big hug and belly rub from us. Peace, love, Keith and Janet. Wow. Individually wrapped. Awesome blue moon shirt. Very, very cool. We have a fire department t-shirt here as well. Everything is nicely put in plastic bags. Greatly appreciate it. Maryland University, the old Terps, the Adidas t-shirt. We have a Washington Redskins t-shirt. This looks like a Nike shirt probably as well. Whole bunch of goodies and a Coors Light t-shirt. Actually, I have a good friend who just loves Coors Light, the good old silver bullet. So you'll probably be receiving this shirt as a gift. Uh, greatly appreciate it. I'll just keep this for myself. Big, big Coors Light guy he is. Uh, thank you, Keith and Janet, for another awesome gift here. Greatly appreciate it. I do like the Blue Moon shirt. We'll probably see that in a future video here shortly. Uh, thanks, Keith and Janet. I know we do have a couple more packages over there, which I'll get to shortly. Thanks again. All right, we got some packages over here. It's kind of getting a little messy up here. Uh, we have a package here from Deborah in Arizona. Oh, more coins. Hey Taco, just a little something to say. Thank you for all your content you put out in one of the videos you were speaking about coin hunting. I do a lot of it and want to give you a few pieces from my personal collection. The $1 coin is a 2018 American innovation coin that is in the box, is from the mint, and is a proof coin. So do not remove from original packaging as proof coin will be worth more untouched. The Westward Journey Nickel Series are proof coins as well. The others are an Indian head, a V coin, a Mercury dime, a 1943 wheat penny, 1946 wheat penny S. Some coins made from San Francisco mint are valued more and a copper coin with a cool design I thought you might like. Please keep as a small investment. Maybe one day it'll be worth a million. Lol, JK. Thanks again. Say hi to me. Deborah from Arizona. Uh, so I did see a little, oh, we got some coins in here, I guess. Oh yeah, so you got some silver. I think that's the, the one uh, copper coin. Here's that 1946S. We have a mercury dime. Very, very hard to show up on camera. Apologize for that, but they're there. Uh, I think this is the copper coin. I think it's in German. Very cool. Here we have, I believe this is the proof set she was talking about. The Westward Journey Nickel Series. That's really cool. Whole proof set. I do have a bunch of these older proof sets. All right, so this is, so I'm not going to take it out of the case. It's going to be collected. I do have a bunch of proof sets myself, but they're all the ones from like the late 70s, early 80s. Um, they're not really worth that much. This one, that's nice. It's a nice dollar coin there. Uh, so this will not be taken out of the case. It will be kept in my collection of other coins. I do have a couple Morgan dollars uh, and stuff like that. So thank you for that. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your personal collection. That really means a lot that you take some stuff out of your own collection and send it to me. So uh, it will be going on to my box of coins. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, Deborah, for the awesome coins. Thanks again. Here we have a package from Jennifer in North Carolina. <laughs> That's a big magnet. <laughs> My focusing is a little off today, so I apologize for that. Uh, here we go. Dear Taco Stacks, I've been watching your videos for over a year now. I really like the variety of ways you resell and make money while saving the earth. My father tossed to recycle and make extra money when I was a kid. 
Before most people did recycling, most days didn't even have a recycling program. I've been on eBay for 20 years, been selling about half the time. I sell used items and that is another way to recycle. I just started selling these magnets on Etsy. I thought of you. I want to send you one so you can put it on your fridge or elsewhere. And I'll remind you that you have a lot of fans and have inspired many to do the same work. My Etsy store is Everyday Woman. Uh, that's woman as in plural, Everyday Woman. Thank you, Jennifer. So, if you guys want to check out her Etsy store, it's Everyday Woman. She uh, sells these magnets, very, very cool. It's actually a pretty large magnet. I would say it's about uh, probably five inches uh, in its width. So it is a very, very large magnet, a little bit bigger than the magnets that I sell. Uh, very, very cool. Thank you, Jennifer, for the awesome magnet. And hopefully everything is going well with your Etsy store. Here we have a package from Vanita in Illinois. See a letter. No letter of Benita, but thank you for this awesome gift. I see we got a whole thing of milk bones. Salsa's gonna love these. These are the soft and chewy version, not the actual, the ones that usually come in a box. They're really dry looking. Uh, these actually look kind of yummy. I don't want to eat one of these myself, but uh, thank you for the milk bones. And then we have a couple magnets here for a Baptist church, I believe, in Illinois. So thank you. Thank you, Vanita, for the, uh, these aren't men. Thank you for Vanita for the pens, uh, as well as the dog snacks for salsa. Greatly appreciate it. I did not see a letter in here on the outside. Oh, maybe this is it. Maybe the letter is actually attached to it. That's what it is, dog. Hey, Talk Sex, it closes picks up my little girl. She is a sh Shih Tzu plus mini schnauzer mix. She is a five-year-old and very well spoiled. Her name is Molly Ann. She is sending salsa in a jar, jar of her favorite snacks. Hope she likes them. We love watching your videos. You are, are one of our favorites. Also sending you an ink pen for my church ministry. Hope you like it. Thanks for what you're doing. Keep up the good work. Vanita and Molly from Illinois. So thank you, Vanita and Molly, for sending me the awesome snacks, the pens, and uh, salsa's going to love them. Thanks again. All right, here we have a package from Diane in British Columbia. You see that she has two packages, so we'll go through this one first. Nope. Got a letter. Taco stacks and salsa. Polar bear. How <laughs> much more Canadian can you get? <laughs> the polar bear. Uh, funny stuff, funny stuff. Hi, Taco and Salsa. I should have put Salsa first as she is a pretty beautiful lady. However, here are three Canadian plates for your collection. I see you have a British Columbia already, right, but hopefully not the other two. I also have a really unusual one coming your way very shortly. I'm pretty sure you'd never see one like it. I'll have to keep watching all your videos very closely. Steve, if you can. If you can if I can catch you opening it. I live on Vancouver Island, just off the west coast of Canada, way across the island to the Pacific and a long, long way from Pennsylvania. Just wanted you to know I really, really enjoy your videos. I wish we could trash pick here, but we're not allowed to put garbage out like that. Anywho, know that I'm a fan way out here and I wish you the best of luck and hugs the sauce. I have two rescue greyhounds myself, so keep living the dream and peace. Diane in British Columbia. With the polar bears. So here we have the first plate from British Columbia. I don't have this plate exactly, so this will be going up on the wall. Very, very cool in this green font. I haven't seen that one before. We have one down here. Oh, don't have this one, that's for sure. A Klondike. 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 License plate. That's a really, really cool one. I do like that. It's one of my favorite international plates to date. Very, very cool. I do appreciate that one. We have another plate hidden in this box. Just like that, a popular thing. And I don't have this one either. Prince Edward Island. Very, very cool. It's always cool to see these international plates because they're a lot different, right? They're a little bit off-centered with this one. Very, very cool. Thank you, Diane, for these awesome license plates. They'll be going up on the wall shortly. 
Uh, here we have another package from Diane as well. And I see a letter with this one. This one I can tell is already unusual because the, uh, it's not like a rectangle. Oh, wow. Favorite plate to date. This is unusual. Look at that. That's a polar bear license plate, like a die cut of a polar bear. A polar bear. That is unusual. Wow. Diane, that, and you were right. Never seen one like this. I've never seen a die cut of anything uh, other than a rectangle license plate. Some are a little bit longer than others, but this one is, that's crazy. That is cool. So <laughs> just like that, I went from my favorite plate to my new favorite plate again. Uh, Diane, thank you for the license plate. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well. Thank you for the awesome license plate. That's really cool. That is really cool. All right, and just like that, the pile is back. I think I got all of them. There's no more, so crack this one open. This one's from Amazon. Oh, got a little letter here. Gift for you. Hi, Taco. Enjoy your gift from Andrea K. in Oregon. Heavy-duty reflective with button. Oh, it's like a little belt. Good. I'll use that. Uh, I think this is a belt. Turnout gear glove strap with button. Firefighter turnout gear glove strap with button. Reflective. Clip on. All right, so yeah. Maybe I can put that on my waist or something like that. Very, very cool. Thank you, Andrea, for that little reflective thing, something for a little bit more safety. Thank you. Here we have a package from Ruby in Indiana. Oh. Taco Stacks, I love watching your videos. Been watching for a while now. There aren't too many young people nowadays that have the motivation to think about saving the earth like you do. You're an inspiration to a lot of people, and that is very heartwarming. Keep doing what you're doing, and much, much love to you and Salsa. I moved to Indiana a few months ago, but I'm sending you a couple t-shirts from my home state of Kentucky. Much love, Ruby from Indiana. Uh, University of Kentucky. All right, yeah. Very cool, Kentucky t-shirt with the Kentucky... Uh flag or logo on the back. Very cool. And then we have a soft Kentucky t-shirt. This one might be a vintage one or one of those. No, it's not a vintage one. Size medium, so that's going to work. In purple. Kentucky. Very cool. Thank you, Ruby, for the awesome t-shirts. You'll see them in future videos. They're both size medium, which is a size I wear. Guys and girls, if you guys are curious what size I do wear, is medium. So uh, thank you, Ruby, for the awesome t-shirts. And Hopefully you're enjoying your stay in Indiana. Here we have a package from Maria in Massachusetts. Oh, got another license plate. Hi, Taco and Salsa. I hope you're still collecting plates. Here's a Massachusetts one for your wall. Hug Salsa for me and let you know she is an admirer. My dog, Adi who watches your YouTube videos with me. Thanks for fun videos. Keep posting, we really enjoy it. Maria from Boston with the Massachusetts license plate. Thank you, Maria. Greatly appreciate the Massachusetts license plate. I don't know if it's on the wall. I don't know if I have Massachusetts license plate right now. I remember seeing one the other day uh, out and about and I kind of thought if I had one. So off the top of my head, I did not know. Uh, but thank you for the license plate. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully Adi is doing well. All right, we got more packages here. Here's one from Keith as well, Keith and Janet. Uh, this is the second portion of their uh, packages they've sent. Got a letter on the side. Dear Taco Stacks, my boyfriend and I love your channel and all you do. We can't wait to see what you made and the treasure you find. You mentioned you really wanted to go to the beach. It's been so long, but you're so busy you couldn't go. So he brought it to you. <laughs> I know it's not the same thing, but enjoy. Keep living a dream. Love Keith and Janet. So yes, they decorate it all with beach things. So that's pretty much me going to the beach. It's <laughs> about as close I'm going to get to it uh, this year. I know it's getting kind of cold out at the beach, so it's not going to work. Whoa, we've got t-shirts on t-shirts. My goodness. What 
team is this? Ooh, Timberwolves. I think that's a Timberwolves. Possibly. Timberwolves. Very, very cool. We have a Kiss t-shirt. One of their reprint designs, I believe. Oh, you know, it might be an older one. It is, 1996. That's an older Kiss t-shirt. Wow, that's a good find. Don't come across them that often. Coors as well, good old Coors brand. Coors beer. Brett Favre jersey t-shirt. <laughs> that's good. This one's brand new, Central Division Champs, Minnesota Twins. I know the Twins, I think, are doing very, very well this year, so that's good to hear. Size large Michigan t-shirt. So I'll unplastic these uh, after stream. We have a Sprite t-shirt. Don't know this brand. Aspire Beverages. Gonna learn a little bit about that. We have Garth Brooks. Good old country singer, Garth Brooks. Seahawks. And lastly, a welcome to something that's Pirates of the Kid. Parrot Bay, Captain Morgan. So thank you, Janet and Keith, for the awesome shirts. Again, greatly appreciate it. You guys treat me very, very well. Here's the last package from Keith and Janet as well. Oh, we got a box of hats. And some wrenches. We got it all. Good old dog. Taco Stacks, thanks for all the knowledge you have taught my boyfriend and I. We have found Pyrex and Blow Molds now. Found a ghost pumpkin mint condition. Saying excellent, excellent condition. And uh, keep up the great work. You're awesome. Keep living a dream. Keith and Janet. Thank you guys and girls once again. Got a whole thing of wrenches. John Deere wrenches. I have never seen that. These are labeled John Deere. Show up. I've never seen that. Check that out. I'm not gonna focus on it. That's a shame. But anyway, not gonna focus. It says John Deere has a John Deere logo on it. That is cool. We got some hats here as well. We got a Chicago Bulls Adidas hat. That's awesome. Snapback. Kansas Jayhawks made by Zephyr. Notre Dame, fitted Notre Dame hat. The good old Georgia Bulldogs. Pittsburgh Pirates, both these last hats are made by New Era. Very, very nice design. And then we have an old school hardwood, hardwood uh, classic style. That's what it actually is. Mitchell and Ness snapback. The good old Denver Nuggets. So thank you, Keith and Janet, for that awesome gift as well. You guys really treated me well this mail day. Uh, greatly appreciate it. <coughs> and thank you for all the support. You guys are really amazing. Uh, thank you. It, it truly means a lot when someone sends you multiple packages or sends you a package in general or you know purchases merchandise. I know you guys have done all that. So thank you for that. It, it's truly, truly amazing. Here we have a package from Florida. There's no name on it. Delray Beach, Florida. Oh, variety pack. Good old variety pack. Oh, letters on the bottom. Nope. Oh. That is a receipt for a pillow. All right, so I don't see any uh, letter here. We have a paintbrush. We have a bunch of hats as well. It's like a running hat. Feather light. Orioles hat. Kate Lord. And we have a bunch of, uh, it's actually a book. It's kind of cool. Garbology. Garbology. Our dirty love affair with trash. And we have a couple series or seasons we have Blu-ray of The Simpsons. The Simpsons. We have Office Space, Special Editions. Still sealed. Watch that maybe tonight. Simpsons. More Simpsons. So I don't see a letter. I don't have a name on here. 
whoever sent me this from Delray Beach, thank you. Unless I'm missing something, I don't see it. Maybe it's just like a variety pack, just let's see what he says. And, uh, regardless, you sent me a lot of good things here. So thank you whoever sent this package. Uh, truly appreciate it. I probably will be using this probably in about two weeks. I have to paint my siding on my house. So uh, thank you for that. Greatly appreciate it. All right, last package here from Van in Maine. Van or Vaughn in Maine. Hello, Taco Stacks. Years ago, I lived in the Lehigh Valley for 25 years. My children and I attended school there and worked for nearby colleges. I'm familiar with the area, frequent, and sometimes I get lonesome for some Josh Early Raspberry Jellies. Anyways, I saw your videos a few months back and gave a tour of your friend's Pirates collection in her house. I know she did not have many English pieces because you said they were difficult to find. One week later, I went to our local transfer station and found two pieces. I thought of your friend and snatched them up right away. Unfortunately, they have no lids. Perhaps you'll find her some in your travels. Do you have any main license plates for you? Well, if not, I'll send you some that I have. If you already have some, I'll try to think of something else for you. I'm keeping an eye out for ball caps and have the three stripes on the side. I enjoy your videos. I'm very happy that you are saving the earth one piece of junk at a time. I am a child of the 60s and mindful of Mother Earth. I taught my children to reuse, reduce, and recycle long before it became a thing. My brother, who was a Vietnam vet, always signed off with no blank, no prisoners. Since I'm also a vet, I will sign off with Semper Fi. Peace. Holly, thank you, Holly. Greatly appreciate this. Uh, I believe we have some English Pyrex in here, I guess. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very, very cool here. We have some nice, it's like kind of like a refrigerator kind of piece here. This is kind of cool. English Pyrex, Canadian Pyrex, very, very hard to find around here. I think there's French Pyrex, very, very hard to find. Never even seen this design. Never seen it. This is one of the cool things about uh, glassware and especially Pyrex and all that is they're very localized in some cases. Uh, but yes, this is what the JAJ, yep, made in England. Very, very cool. And this is kind of like a casserole bowl. Don't know, oh yeah, it is kind of a sort of a casserole. Amazing, Holly, that you found these because these are like. They just, I feel like they don't exist. I don't see them anywhere. It's also very, very cool with the vegetables as well. Also marked JAJ on the bottom. So Holly, thank you for this. Greatly appreciate it. I haven't seen her in a while, but now the Roman sales season starting to come back up. Uh, I will get this to her because uh, I'll probably see her at a rummage sale or two and greatly appreciate it. Uh, that is very, very kind of you to pick that stuff up for her. And uh, she'll definitely be very, very thankful. So thank you, Holly, for that. And, and very neat that you used to live in the Lehigh Valley. So you probably live, you're essentially my neighbor at one time. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up here for today's mail day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I tried to kind of abbreviate some. It really did go a lot smoother than I thought, but uh, thank you everyone who sent me any sort of gift, gift cards, letters, coins. Truly amazing. I can't thank you guys and girls enough. This is really unbelievable how much your channel continues to grow. We're closing in on 200,000 subscribers. Hopefully we'll hit it within the next month or so. Thank you to everyone who has been supportive of the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are interested or girls are interested in sending any sort of gift, whether it be a letter or a gift card or any sort of package in general, my PO box information will be in the description below. You can just copy and paste it. Uh, I don't know how it is for mobile. You might have to click see more description down below to, for it to appear. But if you're on desktop or on a computer, it'll just pop up. Uh, thank you everyone who sent me anything. Like I said, PO Box information is in the description below if you guys want to send anything. And well, thanks again. I'll catch you guys next time. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.